Here we have the GML 8200 Parametric Equalizer Series 2. It's a very good EQ. It's a very expensive EQ. They're seven grand, so they're not cheap at all. And what I wanted to show you today was kind of just how good it is. I want to do some audio demos, run some audio for it, show you on a few different tracks uh, exactly what it can do. Um, in a later video, I'm going to compare it against some other EQs that I've got. Um, I did a video uh, yesterday which basically looks inside this unit. And inside you'll notice that there isn't a power supply. So you have an external power supply, which is down there. Um, which is great because the unit is really light. It's nice and light. Um, you can buy it without the power supply, which I think knocks about a thousand pound off. So the actual EQ is 6,000 and then the the power supply is about a thousand pound. Um, what you have is five band EQ. Um, you've got gain at the top, you've got frequency here, and then inside the frequency, you also have the Q amount, which is a good design. It means it can stay in within two U's, otherwise you're talking a free U version. Uh, now there is a mastering version, which uh, I don't think you can get your hands on anymore. And that's the version, if I were to get one, that's the version I would personally want. Because for two reasons, um, I think the mastering version is stepped, um, is, is stepped. Also, the, the amount that the gain goes up to on this one, it goes up to plus 15, which is quite a dramatic amount. Uh, plus 15 in the mastering world, you know, if you, I always say, if you're going plus 15 or anywhere near plus 15, you, there's something wrong with the mix, that you shouldn't be going plus 15 in a master. Um, so, I mean, let's have a listen to it. Let's see what it sounds like. Look at that though. It is a good looking piece of kit. It is a very, very good looking EQ. I love the colors on it. You know, it's a classic, classic design. Everybody knows it. When they see it, everybody knows what the GML is. Um, but yeah, what we're looking at today is how does it sound? So let's run some audio for it. And then after I've run the audio for it, I'm going to give you my conclusion on what I think on this and my, my honest my honest thoughts and whether, and whether it's going to go in my studio. So let's have a listen.
So first of all, I mean, it sounds great. You, you can't say it doesn't sound like a brilliant EQ. Is it a seven grand EQ? I mean, put it up against the buzz that's underneath it there. I would personally prefer the buzz, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly why. They're obviously different, it's different sound. It, the, the GML and the buzz, totally different in terms of sound. But the buzz, the buzz is stepped. And this one isn't stepped. And there's two, two things that, that would, would that, 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 two things I don't like about this. Number one is that it's not stepped. Now you try and match left and right. It's nigh on impossible to match the two. So getting those exactly where, where they are, it's, it's, it's not hot. It's not. It's not easy. You're not going to be able to do it perfectly. Um, you can get as close as you possibly can, but you're never going to match it perfectly. And here's the thing: is in if this is the EQ for you, if you never have to recall a session ever again, if you can set this EQ up, bang, set it up, print the file, and then never have to recall to the exact same settings. It's the EQ for you. The problem is, is as soon as you have to recall this unit to get it exactly bang on exactly where it was before, you can't and you won't. And I'm going to show that now in a quick audio example. I'm going to go back to the first piece of audio and then I'm going to try and match it back to the first piece of audio. And then I'm going to do a comparison and, and you'll see yourself that it's, it's slightly off. And you will notice that the two, like the first one sounds different to the second one. And that's with me trying to physically put it exactly as it was. So let's, let's quickly do that, that example and I can show you that. Look, as you can hear there, it's not bang on, is it? And you're never going to get it bang on. And it's, it's, it's literally impossible to get it bang on. And that's the problem with this unit in particular is that unless you can literally print and walk away from that print and never have to recall it, you're never going to recall it again. And it's a shame you can't get hold of the, the stepped version, as I believe they're not, not even uh, doing the stepped version now. The other thing that is an issue with this with me is that you've got from zero to plus 15 now look here's the thing is i'm most probably and you'll have noticed from them audio demos look i'm going plus five plus six max plus three kind of you know in between that range now that range on this dial is from here to here is plus three dB. You know, uh, let's say I want to be plus one dB, right? So I'm, I'm around there. Now I've got to match that up here, plus one dB. Matching those two at plus one dB is, is, is a guess. I mean, you aren't going to get, you know, I would have much rather, and this is, you know, I'm, I'm talking about it from a mastering perspective. And from a mastering perspective, I would much rather I'd rather it be from zero to six or even zero to five and then have that more range there where I can hit one, two, three, you know, like a lot, lot of EQs are. Um, I don't need plus 15 dB. Is it plus 15? Yeah, plus 15. I don't need plus 15. So that's, th th they're my two, two things that I'm not hugely keen on about it. And to be honest, they're, they're kind of deal breakers. Um, for me, when it comes to me putting this into a mastering studio, in a mix, for instance, 
um, if I was just literally, I was running stuff into it, getting a great sound, getting the sound that I want and printing, that's the sound, Bosch, there we go. One of the best EQs you'll ever use for that purpose. For mastering though, you are going to have to recall it. At some point, you are going to have to recall this unit and when you do, you cannot and you will not. You will not get it bang on every time. So they're my, they're my issues with it. But the positives, right? And there's a lot of positives. It sounds incredible. It sounds like a GML, of course. It sounds brilliant. And you can get that, that great sound from it. It's quite clear and obvious in those audio demos how good it sounds. You know, using this in mid-side as well. I mean, I used it, I, I swapped it out for the PQ um, on a few mastering jobs and it was bang and, you know, just to test it, just to see what it was sounding like in comparison. Because what, I was, what I've been looking at is basically, I love it, I love how it sounds. Can it replace anything in here? The problem is, is everything in here is mastering grade stepped. Right? So I can't, I can't, I can't physically replace it with anything. And that's a shame. It really is a shame because I would love to. But let's say even if one time out of 10, I have to recall a session, I need to be able to recall it bang on exactly as it was when I left it. Um, sound wise, incredible. You know, you can't, you can't deny it sounds brilliant. Um, fit into a 2U chassis. You know, I love the fact that it's got frequency and Q. The other thing that, that recalling it, even if you did have to recall it, trying to get that Q, work out where that Q point is um, from a picture, for instance, it would be very, very difficult. But yeah, I mean, look, seven grand, for me, it's hard to hand over seven grand for this EQ when it's not stepped. And that's my honest opinion. Uh, I think the stepped version, if you can get hold of one, you're talking close to 10 grand. Um, and I believe they don't do the stepped version anymore, uh, brand new. I think this is the only version you can get. Um, so yeah, conclusion being, if you do not ever need to recall this unit, it is one of the best EQs you will use. If for any point you are going to have to recall it, you're gonna have a hard time getting it bang on exactly as you left it. And for me, unfortunately, that's a deal breaker. But what that does mean is now I'm on the lookout for a mastering grade version with the stepped. Um, I'm gonna look into that because that's the one that I want. And for me, no compromise. Uh, I have to have the one that I want. And that's what I, if, I, if I'm gonna put one in, I have to have it stepped. It has to be stepped and it has to have from zero to something like six dB or zero to eight dB. So that's my opinion on it. Um, beautiful EQ, lovely EQ. I want one, I want to use it, but I need it stepped.